lovely so straight off the bat I want to make sure that you guys watch my giveaway video it is called ask me giveaway and it's just to ask me questions because I want to do a Q&A for you guys and then just if you have my favorite question I'll give you stuff so even if you don't want to be in the giveaway go watch that video and post a awesome question or just something you've been really wondering about me uh, I don't do regular favorite videos like monthly favorite things but I kind of do talk about like my obsessions so I am going to be doing that for you today and I really need to do this because I have all the stuff together and I keep looking for things and I'm like where is it I need to do that video okay thing I'm most excited about that I'm gonna start off with because I'm gonna get really super excited is my new holy grail product this is my favorite product of all products I'm obsessed with skincare. It's Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. It's chapstick. And you take it, slap it in your finger, and put it on your face, just like dry. Rub it all in. Hopefully I'll insert a video of it just dissolving my makeup. It will take waterproof anything off. It will take lotions. It will take suntan lotion off. It is just so good. I have super sensitive skin. I get rashes easily, and I'm very have very very sensitive skin. I cannot I cannot say that enough. I truly have sensitive skin. So I absolutely love this stuff. It gives me no burning at all. It leaves my face feeling touchable and nice. It doesn't leave any kind of oily residue. It just makes my feel face feel clean and nice it doesn't tighten it it just I cannot say enough wonderful things about this product so this is definitely my like wow I am so happy I found you friend okay so the next thing that I want to talk about especially for my channel and I talk about this a lot is I don't wash my hair very often and it really sucks especially if I'm not able to take a shower and unfortunately it is expensive but it is the Aveda and I get the Be Curly just because I have wavy hair shampoo and it is just amazing. It smells like a hippie. It smells, I think maybe it's getting, I'm getting used to it, but at first it just smelled like hippies to me. Like patchouli is what I mean. But this absolutely keeps my hair clean, clean for the absolute longest any hair product has ever and I've used everything so this stuff is invaluable to a sick person okay the next thing I have been loving are these chunky chocolate chip they are gluten-free and non-dairy cookies from Pamela's I am very particular about gluten-free stuff most of it I hate because it tastes disgusting in my humble opinion which is also the correct opinion I love these. They kind of taste like just cookie dough. I know it sounds funny to say that because you're like, well, chocolate chips are made out of cookie dough. But it actually tastes like when it's in that form. And it's crumblier and soft. So, I don't know. These were just really good if you're gluten-free or allergic to gluten like me. You might want to give these a try. I have been demolishing these, but I got the Sephora masks. I, I absolutely love these. They're paper masks. So you take them out of the packaging. You put them on. You look really, really scary. Like I tried to Instagram picture and I was like, this is horrifying. I can't even show this to people. It doesn't look like a regular mask. But you place it on your face and it feels like heaven. And then you just leave it on your face for like 10, 20 minutes in my case. But I think like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And then you take it off throw it in the trash, and then you just rub in the excess so you don't even have to get out of bed. It's crazy! So I love doing these, and especially in the winter. I have been so dry. When I went to get my hair done, I did my makeup, and my face was like flaking off. I was like patting moisturizer on and like spraying moisturizer on, and I was like, oh my gosh, how do I fix this? That did not fix it. <laughs> I need to exfoliate and then do my masks. I have been obsessed with Morphe brushes, eyeshadows. I have not tried their brushes yet, but I got this uh, 
little palette thing and I felt got the, you know, make eyeshadows to put in it. When I tell you how ridiculously cheap these are, you won't even believe me. But I've been raving non-stop about these and I've been promising everybody. I'm like, wait until I do my obsessions video. Wait until I do my obsessions video. I'll show you. These were $1.80 a piece. And they are amazing. I would say in any color they're a dupe for MAC. And I love me some MAC. Also, I think the shimmer shades are a good dupe for any Urban Decay color because they do seem to be softer. But Jaclyn Hill has a 50% off code and so I got the shadows for $1.80 and this for $5 or something. I will swatch a few of these so you, just, so you guys can get an idea of the pigmentation. So I will show you how I'm just tapping my finger. You can see it on my finger. And if you want to know my favorites, just, you know, you can ask me. Oh, look at that pigmentation. It looks like lipstick. I don't want to get too crazy, but yeah, you can kind of just see there. And they just are so smooth and pretty. Here, I'll just blend this out a little bit. It's like I can't even blend it out. They're so pigmented. <laughs> Oh my god, did I have on those fingers? Blend him out. They're just so pretty and smooth and creamy and a dollar eighty. Are you freaking kidding me? Ooh, it looks like I haven't used you yet, friend. Let's look at him. Oh, he is pretty. I mean looks like a Stella, like the ones you like mix and they look like foil color on you. That's crazy. Oh, so impressed with these and I keep freaking out to everybody, like especially Makeup Geek people because they think that those are dupes for MAC and they are and Makeup Geek is awesome but these are just as awesome but they're $1.80 and if you already have the palettes for them you can just buy them and slip them in there. Next thing is some lip products. A lot of lip products evidently. <sighs> the biggest thing that I've been obsessed with is the L'Oreal Glossy Balm that I got in my Walmart box which is why I keep ranting and raving about how much I love my Walmart box because it literally cost five dollars for shipping and that was it and I got like this out of it and I love it and I would have never bought this color before because I just wouldn't have thought I'd been able to pull it off. It's on my lips right now. I absolutely love it. So the next thing is I really really like it's this um, flower line and shine lip liner. I think I got it for a dollar at Walmart. But this is so pretty and I actually like to use this. I use this in all of my pinup girl looks. So I've gotten quite familiar with this color, but I really, really liked this and everyone kept asking me how my lipstick was staying on so long and it wasn't my lipstick that was staying on so long, it was my lip liner and I just reapplied my lipstick throughout the night, but this is such a good base and I really, really liked it and it does have a little bit of a sheen, so it's just kind of really pretty for all over. Uh, the other things that I absolutely love and are my favorite NYX products are, um, it, well this is one, but I just got this um, NYX Extreme Lip Cream, but their Butter Gloss is my favorite. I wish I could have it in every color, but clearly I would have to get a job, which I can't, so. And then I really liked the Extreme Lip Cream. This is my favorite color so far, it's the Eclair. I really like it. I didn't think that this would be a good color on me since I'm so fair, but huh. Oh, and don't know it, but it really has been. And then this has just been kind of like a foliar color, and this is in Candyland. So I will do two swatches of these so you can just get an idea. I just was so surprised by how opaque these were for being glosses. I'm just like a gloss girl. I'm trying to get into lipsticks, but I just can't. Like, I'm trying really, really, really hard. So this one here is the one here. 
So this is much glossier, which I tend to like. So, and this is called the Butter Gloss. And this is the Extreme Lip Color. And this is here. And it does have a bit of a gloss. It is super opaque. I don't know why this annoys me so much when I watch like favorites videos like people were like I really like this and it's like well yeah duh that's why it's in your favorites video so I'm was like I'm not gonna do that in my video and here I am like I really really like that I really this is like my favorite I'm obsessed with this I really like this like yeah duh Ugh. so the next thing that I've been obsessed with is the baby lips I like all of them I mean as again if I could have all every single one of them I would I really like the Dr. Rescue. I use it on my lips with my like, skincare stuff at night. And I just really like the color that they give your lips. And they're just fun. Like they're just fun chapstick. Chapstick, but fun. Next thing that I have been loving, and I have not, I didn't know where this was either. Um, and I don't have the other product because I did use it on my brows is the um what is it browsing by wow i just blanked benefit i've been using that as well as the anastasia of beverly beverly hills of beverly hills with a brow whiz and my color is i think chalk uh, dark brown so I got this from Sephora from the help of one of the guys there and he was amazing and he had amazing brow game so I was like I need you to help me. This helps to just really make it natural looking and just fill in and actually have like line-ish looking stuff and the, then the Benefit product just helps to kind of keep everything in place. But as you can see like you can use it on its own and it will fill in your eyebrows and give them kind of a nicer look than just if they were on their own because my eyebrows can look a little bit ashy. The next thing that I really have been obsessed with and I actually was going to give it away and I have had it in my giveaway box but I broke it out because I didn't know if it was supposed to have a slash thing in it but so I opened it up and it's Real Technique brush and oh gosh yeah okay I was like I swear it had a name to it the shading brush but I don't use it for shading at all, but it is this like really, really packed bristles. I'm not good at explaining things today. It has like, I guess a so sort of angle, but what I use it for is packing in my V with some really dark color. And then I'll go in with a like blending brush and then just like blend it out. But I find it's the best for getting right in there and that V and getting your eye like a lot of dimensions. Um, the next thing that I have been loving, and I took my other one out, is the two e.l.f. blushes that I got. I really, really, really like them. They were, I think, a dollar to three fifty at the most. And I got this color for more of just an everyday color. And then I got like a bright, bright pink. Um, and I've been loving both of them, so I'm really glad and I probably will never buy anything else but e.l.f. blushes from now on because they just work really well and I'm a blush girl. Like if I had to pick bronzer or blush, I'd go for blush. So my last thing as far as material things has been wantable lately. I have absolutely been loving them. The scarf is from there. Usually I will be wearing something. This ring is from there. These bracelets are from there. Usually I'll be wearing something. Wait, 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 I'm gonna go out with my friends. I'm like trying to find like my friend's husband. And I always have this game. Like I'm always like, oh, I have socks and wearables on. Like yeah, it just, I really, really have been loving them. They have been on point since they upgraded things. And you can have that little box that you can re request things and whatnot. And I've been trying to give a lot of love to the stylists that have been putting together the boxes because right now it's a really small company so you can really talk to the people that um, make up your box. So they have definitely been giving two thumbs up for me. And the last thing that I have in my bag at least that I'm obsessed with lately is gift from my friends, cards, gifts from my friends. and. 
I just appreciate them so much and I get so excited like I don't even know if people know how excited I get but I just just the thought that like someone else is thinking about you I mean even if I don't get the gifts and someone's like I was thinking about like that you would like something today I'm like I just think it's really sweet to hear that like people think about you and I don't know for me especially like kind of always having like lower self-esteem I think it's I just never think people like I just always feel like I have a boring personality and I don't really have anything that's like memorable about, memorable about me so when people think about me like that it makes me feel really special I'm like oh I do have like quirks and like silly things about me that I'm opening up about to people so um, and then cards are just my absolute favorite like I just I'm obsessed with cards I've always been like if I get a present in a bag the first thing I look for is I'll push presents aside and I'll look for a card so um, and I put them up in my room and they're just awesome reminders that I am loved and that I have really awesome friends and then the last thing that I have been loving lately is you guys I absolutely love the comments that you guys have been writing I have been going through bouts of a couple days where I've just been down and out and I think oh gosh like I haven't written back to people they're not gonna write comments on my videos and I like that's my greatest part to my day and you guys keep writing comments and just supporting me and just being so awesome and kind to each other I love seeing the interaction of each other and finding each other's pages and then supporting each other on each other's pages I just it just makes me so happy with this question and answer I've been really wanting to do a question and answer but I've just been really insecure that nobody would ask me questions because again I'm like I'm boring what are people gonna ask me I've been really excited to see you guys ask questions and ask multiple questions and ask really interesting questions and I'm gonna link down below the giveaway question video that I keep talking about and um, please go over there and watch the video or not you don't have to watch it if you don't want to but leave a comment with a question for me and hopefully I will feature as many as I possibly can and then my favorite one who will win the giveaway I will answer, do all those in a Q&A which I hopefully will be doing more often because I get lots of questions from you guys I write them down in my book and I can't always get to full blogs about them so I really want to do that kind of rapid fire answering people's questions and whatnot but anything I do is rapid fire so we, we shall see. Of course my favorite thing of always is Bella and she has been making appearances and videos and you guys have been loving it and that makes my heart so freaking happy. A little connecting that she still doesn't know about because if she ever knew she would get very embarrassed has been in the back of me lately and you guys notice her and that makes me so happy yeah, yeah. yeah. okay that's just no means no no means no but i really appreciate you guys and i hope you're having a pretty free stress-free day and we're sending out x doubles and as always i will talk to you guys tomorrow bye